The sport of hurling returns to Fenway Park for the first time in more than 60 years with the AIG Fenway Hurling Classic and Irish Festival. It's this Sunday, and on the phone with us right now is Johnny Caffrey from the Dublin team. So tell me about hurling. What is hurling? Just give me like, yeah. a, like an idiot's guide to hurling. <laughs> um, yeah, hurling is like it's, it's the fastest field game in, um, in the world, um, and it's basically a mix between field hockey and, and lacrosse, I suppose. Um, the game that we're playing on Sunday is an 11-a-side game, and it will be played on a, a soccer-sized pitch. Um, at home, when we play our game, it'll be 15-a-side, um, and the pitch would be probably a lot bigger. But um, there's loads of, loads of skill um, involved in the game. Um, you have a hurl and you have a ball, so there's a lot of hand-eye coordination um, involved as well. And, you know, just tackling and quite big hits uh, can be quite uh, aggressive and, 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 and like that. But once it's played in the right spirit, it's a great game to watch. Nice. Um, so it's, a, it's an actual contact sport. Because it's real fast and, and, and the skill level is very, very high. Um, at home in our, in our RRN Championship, which is the, the big competition that everyone wants to win, um, there'd be 82,000 people would be at the final. Um, so the crowds would be, would be big for that. Um, so, you know, it's their, it's their national game. In Ireland, and it's been played for 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 donkey's years. It's been around a long, long time, and um, you know, it's in every community uh, in Ireland and every village. Um, everyone plays. Everyone knows what it is, and um, you know, just as I said, really excited, and, and we're delighted yeah. to be able to come over to Fenway and, and play in Fenway. Um, for us, is a massive honour, and, and we can't wait to get going. Now, some believe it's the oldest field game. Is that uh, right? Yeah, I think it is one of the oldest field games. Yeah, as I said, it was definitely the fastest field game. Um, in the in the world, um, it's it's an ancient game in Ireland. It's it's around since you dot really with Ireland. Yeah, you said you're going from 15 players to 11 players. Does that really affect the game as a player? Um, yeah, I suppose the game on Sunday is going to be really fast. Um, there won't be much stopping or there won't be much um, uh, stoppage in play. Really, it's just going to be as soon as the score goes in, it's going to be hit, hit poked back out by the goalie straight away and. Um, if anyone gets a free, it's a free, they sort of need to take the free straight away. They don't have to waste for it, to set up or like that. So um, it's really it's going to be an attacking game, all out attack. So there's going to be loads to um, everyone's going to have to be on their toes to, to make sure they're, they're alert to what's going on because there's going to be uh, action going on the whole time, which is going to be great for the spectator and the people watching. Johnny, you're on the Dublin team. How many teams are playing on Sunday? Uh, two, so ourselves and Galway. Okay. We're playing Galway, who are from the west of Ireland. Um, they would have got into the Ireland final this year, which is, as I said, the, the biggest match of the year. They would have been in the final in that. So um, they're another very, very good side, and, and um, it's going to be two good, two good teams on show. Now, have you ever been to Boston before? Never. No, no. First wow. Time. Okay, well, you know there's a rich Irish history in Boston. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You guys will feel right at home, I'm sure. Um, are you a, a fan of Dropkick Murphys? Yeah, I, I, I um, believe they're playing on Sunday after the game. So they are. Forces. I mean, that's pretty cool because, you know, they, they're a bunch of Irish guys. I'm sure they're big in Ireland. I'm sure you know their music. And now you get to come not only play in a, uh, a city that is just chock full of Irish history, but you get to hear one of the modern rock bands that is celebrating Irish heritage as well. That's celebrating Irish as well. Yeah, it, it's, it's a great trail for us. And the amount of Irish people who are going to be here... You know, I've had people on to me that are living in New York and, and different parts of America that are flying into Boston for the match specifically and, and, and want to see the game, you know. And again, with Jockey Murphy playing after that as well, another, another attraction. And, you know, a massive credit has to go to Fenway and, and AOG for pulling this together um, for, for the weekend at dinner with the Notre Dame game on Saturday and then the hurling game on Sunday and that as well, the Irish activities. It's, it's, it's great for everyone over here. I think a lot of the Irish over here are really proud and, um, and I'm delighted to see the, the national game coming over being played here. Uh, AIG is a big sponsor of, of hurling, and um, they, they bring you the Hurling Classic on Sunday. So we want to thank AIG for making this happen. It's going to be a full day of Irish festivities with hurling and Dropkick Murphys and a whole bunch of other things happening at Fenway Park. Um, and you can go to uh, redsox.com slash Irish Festival for more details about that. How long is, is the game, roughly, Johnny? Uh, on, on Sunday, it's going to be uh, 15 minutes per quarter, and there's going to be four quarters. Okay. Is it, now, what, what's the standard time? Is that the stand, standard that's... time? is 35 minutes a half. There's two halves of ah. 35 minutes. So 
70, 70 minutes altogether. Now you said there's a lot of tackling, and it's it's a it's a uh, is it a contact sport? Is it known as it a is, contact yeah, sport? Very, very big contact. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of big hits and um, you know big tackles and shoulders and wow you know, with the hurls flying around. It can be uh, it can be quite interesting with that as well. But uh, yeah, it's very very physical uh, and the intensity in the game can be can be very high. Because so, so you have sticks in your hand. Not only is it physical, but you're swinging sticks around. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, there's a good few YouTube clips of um, sticks being broken over people's arms and, <laughs> and legs and, and over hurls and that. So, uh, what is the most common injury you suffer as a uh, as a hurling player? Yeah, you know, as we say, like with the fact that if there's hurls and that, it seems to be quite violent. That, but to be honest, once you protect yourself well, there's no real... You know, you get a, 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 a couple of stitches maybe the odd time here uh, on your leg or arm or something like that. We wear helmets as for protection, so thankfully now our head, there's no, um, you know, if you get a bang in the head of the helmet, it's protected, you know, there's no damage, there's no <laughs> cuts or bruises or anything like that. But um, mainly just cuts and, and, and bruises is, yeah. is, is the most common injury. Um, thankfully, you know, there's nothing, nothing too major after that. Now, I mean, we thought we were tough with hockey in our, in our country, but... Um, yeah. You know, hurling just sounds like hockey times twenty. Because uh, <laughs> yeah. you got the sticks. It is a. It's not a contact sport, but it can be very physical. You're adding in the contact element with yeah. uh, the hockey and the field hockey, and I mean, it's a. It sounds like an amazing sport. And if anybody has never seen this, of course, like you said, go on YouTube and uh, do some research. But then get over to the Irish Festival uh, on Sunday at Fenway Park and enjoy a, a day of hurling and great music and uh, Irish uh, celebration. Um, Johnny, uh, how long have you been playing? Uh, I was started when I was uh, four or five years of age. Oh wow! My family, how, and how old are you now? Would have been um, heavily involved in it, and would have always played. Um, so as soon as we were able to hold a hurl and start to walk, um, you know, we had the hurl in our hand, and we're, we've been playing ever since. So um, you know, again, thoroughly enjoy the game, and that's why we play. Like we don't get paid to play our game, so we a lot. All the players would have a nine to five job. And then would be out training then at even time for the game. Ah. Um, so you know that's that's a big challenge in itself. Yeah, sure. Trying to you're, you're basically are professional in training for the match, but you're not professional getting paid. So you've got to go do your, your day job and um, during the day, and then you go out then and train like a professional. Then after that, so you know again we we do that because we enjoy it and, and we love it so much because part of who we are and, and and what we do as well. And who's your big rivalry with Dublin? Uh, Dublin are the best team in Ireland. Would probably be Kilkenny. They're the, the All Ireland champions. So and they're in our province, and we play them quite a lot. So, um, Galway God, God, have been a big rival over the last couple of years, um, and we've had some great games against them. So, um, Galway and Kilkenny would be would be two of our biggest rivals. Johnny McCaffrey, thank you very much from the Dublin team. We'll see you on Sunday at the AIG Fenway Hurling Classic and Irish Festival. Sounds like a great time, and uh, thanks for your time, man. Cheers. Take Thanks care. Very much. Thank you. That is uh, Johnny McCaffrey. And uh, the AIG Fenway Hurling Classic again is this Sunday. It's got an Irish festival tagged on to it as well. Dropkick Murphys are playing. It's going to be a, a fantastic day. And once again, you can go to redsox.com slash Irish festival for tickets and more information about this uh, this great event. Welcome back, Hurling. Over 60 years we lost the last time they were here. Uh, but they're not playing us. Two Irish teams playing on Sunday. Um, so no shame in uh, in who loses. We're, we're going uh, to root everybody on on Sunday at the AIG Fenway Hurling Classic.